Hello, everyone. Welcome to my podcast. Um, I'll be talking about part one of the three-part Memorial Day War Film Review event, War Horse. I'm going to be talking about War Horse. All right, let's get started. Um, this is another Steven Spielberg movie. Um, it came out in 2011. The movie is PG-13, and the runtime is 2 hours and 26 minutes. This movie came out in around Christmas time, around December 18th of 2011. And this movie is an art war film. Um, and basically, this is a, a lighter tone. Uh, compared to Saving Private Ryan, which I'll be reviewing on my second part of the video. Alright, um, I watched this movie for the first time on Netflix, because i never seen it before. Um, I know it came out in theaters, I remember the trailers, but I never got the chance to watch it. So, in my opinion, um, the movie is about this young man who lives in this farm, he buys off this horse, and then, you know, he trains him um, to be a farm horse, and it turns out that the horse basically has his uh, remarkable um, stamina and is a very loyal um, friend to the main character young, called um, Albert. And then during the when the World War I started, um, they were recruiting, you know, recruiting young men and buying off um, horses and stuff. So um, Albert family, they were um, in debt with their farm. So the father decided to sell off the horse um, for the war so he could get some money so they could um, survive for the next couple of months um, until they get, their, um, they get the new crops. So basically, this movie is pretty interesting. Um, is a obviously is a like um, those animal and human relationship. Okay, man loves dog, man um, dog's best friend. So imagine this, but you know, in the point of view of a horse. So half of this movie, you basically going to see what is this horse going through, which is the title of the movie, War Horse. And those who haven't seen the movie, um, I'm going to spoil it. So, yeah, sorry. This is a spoiler review. So, I'm going to get back to it. So, back to the horse, or the movie. <laughs> what uh, I want to say that Steven Spielberg, again, his directing is always interesting. And especially, like I said, um, on my review on Private Ryan, which is the part two review of the Memorial Day war film review event, is that Steven Spielberg knows how to make a good movie in a sense that he knows how to direct and how to tell, how to tell a good narrative in the story. And this basically helps the film um, flow like I like at least uh, the flow of the narrative of the story the journey is very satisfying um, some of the sets and certain things I'm not sure like this movie felt like a bit fictional I'm not sure if they actually shot an actual location or I don't know some location felt kind of weird Maybe it's because uh, they built sets to fill up some of the things that they didn't travel. Um, but I need to do more research on that. But anyway, back to the story. Um, let's see what well, while what was going on. I lost track. Oh yeah, the the narrative. What I like about the narrative that you see this horse going basically through hell. And Matt and, and basically survives during these um, events, I would say. Because it, the thing is, what makes this movie um, an interesting, because I think this is based, this is a fictional story. 
Um, I need to do some research because I, at least I haven't seen this based on a book. I could be wrong, so if anyone knows about this information, let me know in the comments. So this move, this basically everyone, everyone who goes encounter with this horse, you know, everyone who gets across with this horse or rides him, um, they all have their own backstory, and you know, all these characters that encounter this horse, they have basically a, a attachment, which is um, very um, uh, impactful in the story, which is very interesting. And then the whole movie basically is about this horse basically trying to get through whatever he is going through. Um, since there's no dialogue on the horse, so we don't know. We just see what he's doing and what he's trying to do, but we do not understand what's his motive. We just know that he just wants to survive. And then, the, again, back to the young boy um, that basically lost his horse. You know, he, his father sold it. He enlists in, in the war, so he goes and try and see if he can find them in the middle of the war. So basically, during the half, the first half hour of the movie, it's basically gonna be the point of view of the horse. You don't see so much of the young, of the young man. And uh, he's basically the protagonist, but you'll see other um, secondary characters that they're gonna be in the journey with the horse, with the horse named Joey. By the way, so if anyone wants to know what's the name of the horse, it's Joey. So basically, yeah, overall, like again, um, this is a PG-13 movie, but I got to admit that Steven Spielberg know how to bring the tension when it comes to the war um, scenes. That they were very, very um, greedy for a PG-13 movie, but it also he managed to basically censor the gory. Um, scenes, especially like there's this scene, and there's these two young men, and they, they run away um, with the horse, and then they're like sleeping in this barn house, and then the German finds them because they, you know, they run off from the camp because there were two brothers that they want get split up, so they decided to run away. So they found them, and then what they did is they they executed them outside the barn, the two young men. And kill them, and then the horse, aka Joey, was left alone in the barn, and he just stayed there for the rest of the night. So that part was dark. But in the scene, is why well, I like it. Like again, Steven Spielberg has a very good direction and cinematography. Um, he makes it so like justifiable, and also he can make it look greedy without being gory. Like for example, I'm gonna say the scene again about the two young men. They got executed for, you know, for betraying their infantry and just running away. Um, the shot is basically on the windmill. You see the fan of the windmill turning. And then you see the Germans pointing the guns at the two young men. And then you know they're going to get executed. But by the time they pull the trigger, you see the windmill fan covering the two men. And then the next scene, when the windmill passed, you see the two men on the ground. Basically indicating they're, you know, they're dead. They got shot. So there are certain scenes that um, Steven Spielberg was able to censor. So it, it was able to still, you know, do the horrible um, executions and, 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 and death without being too gory. But overall, um, the movie had some um, comedy relief, which are very funny. Um, like uh, Steven Spielberg comedy films or a family film. He knows how to again. He like he knows how to balance the tone, so that's why he's really good at in his films. He can make a he can make it great, and the next thing can make it light, so you don't you know you don't feel overwhelmed. And and again, this movie is trying to be realistic in the sense you know this is war, so yeah, it's gonna be tragic. Um, things happening, but it does not forget that okay, this is a journey of these characters trying to find each other. And then it basically leads to a happy ending, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, so overall, um, I recommend you check War Horse. It's a pretty good film. Um, and I would say it's a feel-good film, really. In the end, it's very uplifting. It does have its sad moments, but in a really good way. So again, it's justifiable. 
And I'll say this is a pretty good war movie if you don't want to see any strong, um, greedy war films. Like, as example, Saving Private Ryan, which is a pretty strong war film. This could be more on for your taste if you're interested. And I highly recommend it. Check it out. It's on Netflix. And I'm going to end my review right here. Um, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to make another review um, for one extra war film, which I didn't have time because of certain reasons. I had to do some stuff. But again, thank you for watching or listening. Since this is a podcast and you guys can only see my photo. And yeah. So comment whatever you want to comment. If you have a recommendation of any film, indie film related, short films or feature films, uh, leave a comment. You could also talk about anything related, movies, games, anything pop culture, opinions, anything you want to add. Feel free to add. And I'll end this video right here.